What's going on guys? Dave here at the Reef Aquarium Shop in Indianapolis, Indiana. Today we're going to be fiddling with the 450 gallon reef display a little bit. We are going to put a Neptune system on it. Stay tuned. Two power bars, Got flow it. meter, Got it. auto feeder, yep. the waivers. Yep. Thank you, Tom at Neptune. Everything we have now is controlled by Neptune. That's Everything. beautiful. Even our mix water is controlled by Neptune. Even the mix water? The mix water. Hot yeah. dang. We control the heat so we can make sure that it's the same temperature as our fish. That's smart. It is smart. What's up, bird? Bird, bird, bird. Fine. Don't say nothing. Yeah, right there. That's the hard. Good job, Chris. Shift cable come. Trying to put about two of these on here. Nailed it. Installation of the hardware is definitely the longest part of this process. Once you get everything kind of cleanly installed and you get to the software side, it's a pretty straightforward. Right in itself. We have the power. And this one is giving us a little it's green right. tooth there. We got that going. There's green there. Oh, we're waiting for a uh, blue. Oh. Like that. And then solid orange down here. Don't forget about your drip loops, guys. Come on. Come on. Gotta have that drip loop. The real deal. All right, so we've got everything set up on here now. Uh, we've got this whole like motherboard thing going on with uh, all of our equipment on the outside and inside. Uh, Chris, what what exactly does all this do? <laughs> like, okay, what is uh, what is this thing right here? So we start with this guy. This is the uh, this is the head unit. It's kind of like the brain of the Apex probes. Plug in here. It's got the Aquabus slots there so you can use it for a power source uh, but it's also the, the, the source of the internet connection so if you want to be online you gotta have the brain what's the next most important thing i guess like the, the power right. units yeah so this is one of the two that we have on this unit you might be wondering why there's nothing plugged in sure uh, there actually is we're using all the available uh, aquabus and one link slots one links are the way to go man they are yeah uh, if we ever need to plug anything else in, we do have these uh, plugs available right here. Uh, but the one link does power and data, so it's a two-in-one. Very cool. Yeah, we, we like to utilize those for other Absolutely. And then uh, hanging out next to that, we got this doser. Yep, the dose. Uh, this is a really nice dosing pump. 
uh, can be used for not just dosing additives, but you can also use it to automate water exchanges, Ooh. Uh, which is a really cool feature. And for this, actually hooked up to our dual reservoir, which is a pretty slick guy here, a standard container um, at first glance, but it does have two optical sensors in here that will tell us how many milliliters is left in each container. So if we run out of uh, anything in here, we can just have it tell us, hey, Hey, you need to refill this thing. Your containers are getting <laughs> low or they're just empty. Nice. Very cool. Uh, and then speaking of more automation, we've got the uh, auto top off here. Yep. That's going just back into the sump and topping it off with a uh, with just a float valve, right? Yeah, it's on the float valve, but it's also got dual optical sensor. <laughs> this is their P-MUP pump, uh, which is a nice little utility pump. Yeah. It comes with the ATK, uh, but you can buy it separately. So uh, we've got this bad boy, the yes, Trident, going on. Trident. Uh, yeah. Now, what does the Trident do? It tests your alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium by itself. Uh, wow. You just give it a water source. Uh, you can hook it up to a drain. We just use an old empty food container here. Um, you tell it how big this container is, and when it gets full, it'll stop testing and it'll tell you you need to empty your waste container, uh, which is pretty cool, but you can also just run it down a drain and yeah. tell it that it's running down a drain and it'll just run forever. Just keep going. Wow. Cool. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's a really good way to have uh, consistent testing to be able to kind of get the heartbeat of your aquarium and kind of be able to fine tune your exactly there hasn't really been anything like like this an automatic tester that's going to give you exact readouts like this that's very cool yeah. what else we got in this system i guess that's everything hanging out on the outside for the most part there's a couple of things down here yep. uh like this bad boy yep. uh, this is your fluid monitoring yep we use it for the automatic top-off kit yeah uh, but you can add all kinds of different things to these so it, it powers that little pump that's in our uh, auto top off over there. nice so nice and then that auto it. top off is running over here to that uh, uh, float valve with the two optical sensors uh, and then uh, just uh, once that gets to a certain level it's gonna start filling up the tank on its own that's our secondary power bank uh, and with as much stuff as we have running on this, it is absolutely a necessity. <laughs> the waves. We have four of these running in here. So, so all of this equipment that we've just looked at, uh, kind of going back to the main area here, uh, is going to uh, feed into here, into the brain, and the brain sends that to uh, all that information uh, to an interface that we can look at, right? Yeah, it's a, essentially a, a cloud-based software that you can access all of the information about your aquarium. Yeah. Uh, all the data that you're pulling from your probes, your trident, uh, power consumption, what's on, what's off, automation, all that fun stuff is all on the software side. Very cool, very cool. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. So here we are at our computer, uh, and this is where all of that information is coming into. Yep, uh, you got all kinds of stuff. Kind of our desktop here, you can see all of our different information. We've got all of our different um, alkalinity, calcium readings, the salinity, ORP, we've got our pH, temperature, uh, we can monitor the, all, all the sensors on the auto top off. Uh, we've got our consumption rate on both of our power bars over here. Oh, wow. Uh, in the center, we've got uh, the details on all of our wave pumps. It'll tell you how fast they're running, the temperature. Uh, what kind of flow they're producing. You can customize this to your liking. You can kind of play with the order. If you want this over here, you can do that. Uh, it's, it's all pretty customizable. Well, very cool. I'm, uh, I'm excited to have this system up on the 450. Uh, and again, we've run this on, uh, on most of our systems in-house. Our coral trough runs on a Neptune. Fish system runs on a Neptune. Even our top-off water runs on a Neptune. This is actually for uh, all the different systems we have running. Uh, and we can access them all from here remotely. For all right, everybody, that's the new Apex system uh, that we have running on the 450 gallon. Uh, if you're interested in any of these uh, Neptune systems, uh, we've got pretty much everything you could possibly want. Plus, this is all available on our website at thereefindy.com. Go check it out.